Today we're going to be talking about Mappy, a minimap mod for the fabric. This was the first minimap mod for the fabric loader. I know there's a bunch of other minimaps you guys heard of, but those are for Forge. This is the OG of the fabric loader. I've been using this and he's been updating it constantly that today when I made this video, I had to re-record due to the fact that he changed a couple of stuff that I'm going to be mentioning in this video. So today we're going to be talking about it. It's not as well detailed. It's very pixelated on the map. Is that a bad thing? No. Is that a good thing for whoever likes it? I don't mind it. as long as I can know what that is. Trees, water, etc. I'm okay with it. You know, you can't ask too much. This guy is taking his time to make this mod. He doesn't have to do it if he didn't want to. I did see a comment on the thing. There's a guy that said that this minimap mod is the most miserable minimap mod ever and that's pretty messed up due to the fact that this guy is doing it for his own you know free time he could be doing something else but there's always going to be a great ungrateful people out there in uh in the internet world not just in minecraft <clears throat> so let's talk about the updates and stuff that it does to put a waypoint you press b now this is new the last one that i used it just did a random color and then you press backspace to delete it but this time you could actually make <clears throat> a waypoint now what's really cool about this if your friend is somewhere far away let's just say he's at 55 a lot of you know 33 and probably negative 300 i mean let's just say negative 50 55 or something or 255 because they won't let me delete the two <clears throat> let's just say he's over there and you know instead of him repeating the constantly you know where the coordinates are you can just simply just ask him for the coordinates and you could meet him up at his place that's pretty cool he didn't have this in the previous update that i was uh, using he updated this i believe today as i'm making this video so that's really awesome and i i like that it's great and also now when you get to the place if you press backspace, it won't delete it. That's how you used to delete waypoints in the in the old outdated version. That was like two days ago. Now you got to press U. And if you want to delete this waypoint, you just delete it right there. So it's, it's pretty neat. I like the fact that uh, you could pick all the colors and stuff. It's a really great update. I think it's really amazing. Um, it was way better than pressing B and b and delete b and delete constantly so that's a really cool update he's updating constantly so it's not like this is the last update he's making he's planning to do some big changes and this is pretty good i've been using this minimap mod for for the fabric loader because i'm playing mostly on fabric not on forge at the moment and it's been pretty good he did also do a new update uh you could do a lot of customizations actually now this was not on the previous one. So now you could make a, let's just say a smaller map. Let's just, let's see if we could do a smaller. No, we can't do a smaller map. No, we, we, we could, we could, we could do a smaller map. Okay. Let's just, it just has to be a certain, it has to be like an actual like square, you know, ex pixel thing. Let's just say we want it on top on 32 and let's just say we want it on the top center. Cause we're crazy like that let's just say that's what we want now we can and boom boom now it's in the center of the map it's pretty nice if you want to move the map and you don't want to have a bigger map but let's just say you you want a big map let's just say you're a maniac let's just say you're pretty crazy this new customization feature just you know made a big difference let's just say you, you want a big map for no apparent reason look at that now <laughs> Now you could just literally get a big map. Never have to look at the, at the game again. Just look at this big old map. You could do that too. He did also add this feature where you could uh, take off the player names. That's pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one off for sure when I play. The only thing that... Uh, the only thing that I have to say is... I don't have friends here, so I could demonstrate this, but he did also add show entities. 
that's pretty cool and also he uh, he did this update thing i don't know what this does <clears throat> i'll have to read what it does i really don't know but he added the show entities aka mobs so we have this now that's why i've been carrying this egg so you can see it i probably should have changed the center but whatever so yellow seems to be the good mobs what i've noticed because i also did spawn some villagers and it's always going to be yellow now for the skeletons you know all the bad mobs it seems to be orange at the moment um <clears throat> that's pretty cool <laughs> they're chasing them now this mini map does not feature a cave map feature like other mini maps and that's okay because this mod is this mod is pretty new it's pretty fresh it's never in the, a year old so you shouldn't expect a lot for for a very new mod so I, i'm not too worried about that it, it'd be nice to have but it's not something where it's like you know choosers can be beggars i believe that's the phrase people use so i'm okay with it the guy is updating this constantly the updates he've he's added have been very impressive so i'm sure he'll probably add something like that in the future who knows but this is a good map this is currently one of the og mini maps for the fabric loader so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm sure you guys probably downloaded this if you haven't download it for now because it's a really good mini map mod for the fabric loader until then i'll see you guys around and thank you very much for watching.